Okay, now in this video, the objective is to be able to determine the slope and intercepts of a line given the equation of a line. And uh, there's different ways to write linear equations, but for uh, introductory purposes, uh, we're going to stick to just uh, having the equation already written conveniently for us in the slope-intercept form. If it happens to be written in the point-slope form or the uh, standard form, uh, there's other ways to find the intercepts and the slope. Uh, and you could learn those, although people who already know how to solve equations and uh, manipulate equations using the various rules, you know, it might just be easier to learn, instead of learning different rules, to just learn how to put any equation back into the slope-intercept form uh, and, then, and then go from there. Okay, so it's up to you, but anyway, we're, we're just introducing this, so we're going to have everything written to us in the slope-intercept form. And uh, the slope-intercept form, okay, is, is basically uh, you have y by itself on one side, the variable y, and equals, and then it's going to be uh, something x, the coefficient for x, uh, you know, could be a fraction um, or, or, or another number. Uh, so the coefficient for the x, and that tells you your slope. And then uh, plus, or we know that minus, you know, plus a negative number would look like a minus. And then another uh, could possibly be another fraction or could be a uh, constant. Okay, and again, so... Again, uh, when it's written in the point, uh, the slope-intercept form, you'll have y will still be the variable y equals m will be a number or a fraction. Then you have the variable x, and b will be a number or a fraction. Maybe a better way to say this is an integer or a fraction. And by looking at it when it's written in this way, we know that whatever m is is going to be the slope. Okay. Uh, again, it could be a positive or negative number, it could be a fraction. Uh, if it's just y equals, and there's nothing here, it's just the x, then we know that the uh, m, okay, the coefficient in front of the x, if nothing's there, is automatically a 1. If it's y equals negative x, we know automatically the coefficient is negative 1, because we don't usually write that negative 1x, we just write negative x, but we know it's there. Uh, and then the b, whatever is here, is going to be the y-intercept. And we know that the y-intercept is where the line, the graph of your line, uh, crosses the y-axis. So wherever this line is crossing, no matter which direction it goes, wherever it crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0, right, because you're in the middle of the x, uh, and then uh, the x-axis, and then wherever it crosses the y is going to be your y-intercept, so we'll write that 0, comma, whatever number that is, okay? And again, if it's written like this, your b, whatever number b is, is going to be 0, comma, that number, that's where it crosses the y-axis, okay? So, uh, I have a few examples to show you here. Uh, in this case, it's y equals 1 third x plus 1, and so this is written in the slope-intercept form. And so we can see that our m, the coefficient in front of the x, is 1 third, okay? And the b, the number that's being added or subtracted to that, is 1. So b equals 1, and that makes our y-intercept 0 comma positive 1. Now, if you just have those two pieces of information, the y-intercept and the slope, now you can go ahead and put this, uh, graph this line if, you, if the question dictated that or if you wanted to know that. And so all you would need to do is take the y-intercept 0 comma 1, plot that point like I've done here, take your slope, which is 1 over 3, or rise 1, right 3, it's a positive slope, starting from your y-intercept, go up 1, go right 3, put another dot. From this point, up 1, right 3, put another dot. 
And you can also go down and to the left, down and to the left. It's going to continue the same line. And so I've already graphed this uh, for you, and we can see that the x-intercept is negative 3, comma, 0. Of course, and the x-intercept is always going to have the, the y-coordinate as 0 and wherever it crosses the x-axis. Uh, however, again, without graphing this, we can still find out the piece of information very easily. We just put in um, 0 and 4 y. So we'll take this equation and we'll put in 0 instead of y and solve for x. 0 equals 1 third x plus 1. And by finding out what y is, we will find out if, uh, sorry, by finding out what x is, we'll find out if y is 0, what's x? That's going to be, again, our x-intercept. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. I get negative 1 equals 1 third x. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. I get negative 3 equals x. So again, when y is 0, x is negative 3, and that is our uh, x-intercept. Let me do two more. Again, uh, and this time, I'm going to do that without uh, without graphing, just to show you how to do that. Okay, so we have the equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. Well, we know that our slope, I'm going to write it as m, our slope is, oops, 2 thirds, right? The coefficient in front of x. Uh, I know that our y-intercept is 0 comma b, or 0 comma 4 in this case. Okay, and I can find my x-intercept by plugging in 0 in for y. So 0, oops, 0 equals 2 thirds x plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and solve this, subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 4 equals 2 thirds x. I'm going to do the inverse operation or multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 3 halves, both sides. Uh, that cancels, and I get x by itself, and I believe this becomes, I could do it negative 12 over 2 or negative 6. So our x-intercept is negative 6, comma, 0. Okay? Again, if I was to graph this, we could find that uh, that way as well. And last problem, uh, y equals negative 2 x minus 3. Okay, so our m, our slope, is going to be a negative 2, and we know that if you want to write it still as rise over run, that's negative 2 over 1. We know that uh, the y-intercept is 0 comma negative 3, because here is our, don't forget that this is a negative we say y equals mx plus b, so if I wanted to say negative 3 as y equals something x plus something, well, minus 3 will be plus negative 3. And the, to find the x-intercept, all we'll do is make it y equals 0, 0 equals negative 2x, oops, plus negative 3, and then add 3 to both sides. We get 3 equals negative 2, uh, negative 2x, and then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So in this case, x equals uh, negative 3 halves. So, or, uh, you know, of course we know that's also negative 1 and a half. So the x-intercept is negative. One and a half, and we can do that, that's fine, comma zero. That's where it will cross uh, on your graph, when you graph this line. So anyway, that is a video uh, explaining, or a lesson explaining how to find the slope and the intercepts of a line uh, given the equation of a line. And uh, just as a final thought, you know, normally you're not really going to need to know what the x-intercept is. We mainly use the y-intercept and the slope, and again, that's, the, that's how you can now take a, an equation and then go ahead and graph it. Okay, thank you for watching.